Hello everyone, Alex is here. Hope you all had a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Don't forget to give yourself a New Year's resolution. It's always good to have a fresh start. Today I will talk about memory cards with all the complex letters and numbers they have. So let's start with the one on the top. You will find the letters SD, which stands for Secure Digital. And there are four types of it, with a difference in maximum size. Starting with SD, that has a limit of 2 GB, SDHC with 32 GB, SDXC with 2 TB, ending up with SDUC, that can hold up up to 128 terabytes. So it's just a standard of how much the card can save. Now the next thing you should know is the reading and writing speed. I know it seems like an important number, but it's theoretical. So these numbers stand true only in perfect conditions. Examples of reading speed are opening videos or copying files from the card to the computer. And writing can be the other way. Another example of writing is how fast can you record videos on the SD card. Most companies though mislead people by only showing the reading speed on their cards because it's more appealing. So always look for the writing speed in the card specs because it's the important one between both. The next one is the letter C, which stands for sustain speed. And it's also measured in megabytes. There are four levels of sustain speed, C2, 4, 8, and 10. Most of the cards now have C10, which is the minimum writing of 10 megabytes. Here is where you might find things annoying a little bit. The writing speed I mentioned earlier stands for the maximum that the card can reach, which is 250 megabytes on this card, while the C10 will ensure that the card won't go lower than 10 megabytes. So the minimum is 10 megabytes and 250 is the maximum. And things are not different to the U symbol. It has two types, U1 with 10 megabytes and U3 with 30 megabytes minimum writing speed. It's just another standard like the sustain speed. So if you have a card with C10, U3, 250 megabytes writing speed, that means that the minimum is 30 megabytes and the maximum is 250. Although lately companies developed a new standard for video speed through the higher quality of video recording and they went with the V as a symbol. So we have V10, 30, 60, and 90. The number here also presents the megabyte writing speed, but for video recording only. So if you have C10, U3, V90 with 250 megabytes writing speed, it's gonna go as low as 90 megabytes and a max of 250 for videos, and between 30 and 250 for other files. Now the last couple of standards are A and I. A stands for Applications Performance, with two levels, A1 and A2. So if you need the SD card to install apps on it, then A is your standard. With A2 is better than one, but both should be okay with daily base apps. If you want to play games though, go with A2 for better experience. The last one is the UHS standard, with two levels, I1 and I2. It's also presented by how many rows of connectors on the back. Even if you look at the maximum speed, you will notice a huge difference. Although not all the devices support UHS Express 2, so check the compatibility of your device before you buy it. So let's demonstrate all these numbers again. Always ignore the C number. If you are buying the card for apps, look for the A symbol. For video recording, check the V number, and if you are looking for extra storage only, U1 might be enough for you, but for more smooth experience, go with U3, and only use UHS Express 2 if you want it for video recording on Pro cameras, since all the i2 cards are V60 or 90. That's it for today, hope you had fun in this video, let me know in the comments if you have any further questions about SD cards. I will make sure to answer every one of you. And don't forget to support my goal of reaching my first 1000 subscribers. And see you guys next time.